a lot of you guys like the discussion of Captain Falcon getting his own game, and I, I really got inspired by some of the comments that you dudes had in terms of him doing it. I mean, as you can see right here, my video for that got 16,000 views and over 1,061 likes. Those numbers are insane. So it's quite clear that a lot of you dudes share the same sympathies as I do for Captain Falcon in regards to him getting his own game, and I figured why not pay more homage to the topic and get a little bit more input from you guys by reading through your YouTube comments for it. So just as a heads up, I'm probably not going to be able to read through everyone's comment. I mean, there's like hundreds of them. There's 613 comments. And I'm not going to be able to read the entirety of big comments. But I'll skim through them and see, you know, which ideas you guys have to offer. Because last time I looked here, there were some really good ideas in regards to his own game. And I do have a feeling that someone at Nintendo was watching this video. Someone with some kind of pull was watching. Or at least someone who could suggest something. So you know what? If you are a Nintendo representative and you're watching this in regards to potentially getting some ideas about a Captain Falcon game, hi there, how are you doing? These are the comments of my YouTube viewers. These are their opinions. Please take them seriously. Let's go on with the topic at hand. So, some comments are obviously gonna be BS, but I mean, <laughs> okay, so Falcon Punch. Harold Mustang says, I totally agree with you, Etika. We need a Sea Falcon game. No more F-Zero, no more racing Falcon Punch. Now, some people may be opinionated about this because a lot of people do like F-Zero, but I saw some arguments saying that F-Zero kind of falls in comparison to Mario Kart. But, you know, who says that there only has to be one big racer for Nintendo? Um, I agree, but Falcon Punch was a Smash Bros. creation, not an F-Zero creation. Probably why they didn't implement it into the game. You're right, and I know it. But my Falcon Punch comment was just for fun to finish the line with something fun. <laughs> oh, man, yeah, these, are, these are my comments. Yo, Sakurai is totally watching this. I can feel it. Who knows? Who knows? Sakurai knows who I am now, so the potential for him watching my videos is somewhat there because he shared the shit on Twitter with his friends and family. So I mean, hey, who knows? Um, can we get an Ice Climbers game as well? I don't think they're as relevant now. I mean, Sakurai said the main reason why they weren't put in the game is because of their relevancy and not even the technical limitations. He said the Ice Climbers were going to be difficult to put in because of tech specs and because they're not really relevant anymore. So, hey. Captain Falcon needs a minor nerf in Smash 4. And this, this comment strain has been hilarious over the last few days because, um, this guy said, um, Captain Falcon needs a nerf. No, he doesn't. Bro, the down throws hit stun. He's pretty much a heavy, he's pretty damn heavy for a fast character. The side B kills at like 90%. I love Falcon, but he's a bitch character. Even the kick for kill is at a decent percentage. And this guy says, get good, scrub. Falcon doesn't need a nerf. Your skills need a buff. <laughs> <laughs> you want to talk about nerfs? Look at that nigger Sonic or Diddy's monkey ass. They need nerfs before Falcon does. <laughs> I love that comment. He said, this dude said, Falcon doesn't need a nerf. Your skills need a buff. <laughs> that is perfect. I love it. I love it. <laughs> and then this guy, even this guy says it. This guy, um, Zaynov, says, I'm really feeling your statement. Lenny facing this bitch. And then GLT says, I agree, bitch ass Diddy needs a big nerf. I don't go against many Sonics, so I really couldn't tell you. Falcon does need a nice nerf though. I'm sorry I invoked your tarred rage. <laughs> this man has no weaknesses. That stupid down throw into up air is just free damage that kills rather easily. His smash attacks hit hard as a truck. He has a recovery buff, and his back air is perfect for off stage bullshit. <laughs> the up tilt meteor is someone trying to grab a ledge, which is super bullshit. Sure, the other characters need nerfs, but it isn't nearly as needed as Diddy and Captain's bitch ass. And then I came through commenting because I laughed the same way that I laughed right now on camera with you guys three days ago. And I said, I'm sorry for not contributing much, but the your skills need a buff bit had me on the floor. Because <laughs> that shit is perfect. This dude said, nah, Captain Falcon doesn't need a nerf. Your skills need a buff. That's perfect. <laughs> Our Lord and Savior has commented. What's your opinion on Captain Falcon? This is... I was just looking and laughing at this point, though. Um, you don't need to contribute, Daddy Etika, but tell this fool that Falcon don't need a nerf. I can only take so much scrubbery in one day. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm not insulting you here, big guy. I already made my case. Captain Falcon is fucking fantastic. What are his weaknesses? <laughs> Falcon has a decent combo. He is way too good. He needs a nerf. You know what? Fuck that. Anyone with a good recovery and combo game should be nerfed. Do you even hear yourself? Because all I hear is, I'm too slow to get out of the way of attacks that a blind nigga could telegraph. <laughs> he doesn't have witnesses, find one. Sounds to me like Falcon's exploiting your weaknesses. <laughs> Let's do what's going on. Oh my god, Captain Butt Sex is gone. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> Captain Bus Sex's ground game is phenomenal. His air game is phenomenal. Even off stage, he's really good. I don't think anyone wants to see him like how he was in Brawl. Hala Namco Bandai's balancing patch was incredibly good. Sheik and Greniga needed those needs. They're still very good. All Captain Falcon needs is a little lag on some of his moves and maybe a knockback check on his down throw. Sorry if I offended you in any way. Need, not a need. Need a not at all, oh, whatever. A nerf. Autocorrect can suck on my nose. <laughs> offended. I don't main Falcon. Mario's my nigga. And I haven't not I haven't had not one fight against Falcon where I had trouble because he was too good. Just gotta learn how to deal with it instead of bitching about it. All the smash attacks are predictable as fuck, cause he takes time to stretch his fucking muscles before he does them. You'd think the answer to his grabs would be not to get fucking grabbed, huh? <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, a Mario main. I should have known from the username. Okay, I'm gonna move on. This I could get caught all day reading these comments, man. Um, no. Personally, Captain Falcon was given in Smash is the polar opposite of his character in the F-Zero games. The personality Captain Falcon was given in Smash is the polar opposite from his character in the F-Zero game. They also changed the design for no reason because Sakurai believes he has the right to do so for some reason. Also, this anime is not canon and it has nothing to do with the games. Oh boy, I already know, I'm about to see a fucking rage fest. Actually, the anime is 100% canon and it has two Game Boy games about it. F-Zero, okay, yeah. Um, so, um, yeah. <laughs> Fun fact, Captain Falcon is voiced by Vegeta's Japanese voice actor. Interesting. A Metroid Captain Falcon crossover start the series with a boom, and a lot of you dudes were saying this because Metroid, I mean, excuse me, <laughs> Metroid, Samus is a bounty hunter and so is Captain Falcon, so they can kind of do like some cross collab thing. I can see it working out. Who knows, maybe potentially, you know, considering that F-Zero happens in the future, and Metroid happens in the future, somewhat. Couldn't it be possible that they happen in the same universe? Maybe they could do that to sort of ease in the new Captain Falcon game, where it's not just him by himself, which could potentially be a shaky concept for a new game, but rather, hey, Captain Falcon's gonna be debuting in his new game, and it's going to be featuring Samus Aran, you know? Boom, you know, two bounty hunters, blah, 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 you know, dream team combo, whatever, you know? It could help ease in a potential game that he does have, so fans are more familiar with it. And you know, even though it may only be a visual thing, but you know, it'll still help to make the game more accepted by a lot of people, because you know, Samus, everyone loves Samus. Um, Falcon Punch the game, that could definitely be a good name. Captain Falcon has a gun, you can see it on the right side of his hood. Why doesn't he use it? Bounty, Bounty Hunter main weapon, maybe I stated the obvious, but still, what attributes would the gun have? And you know, that's another interesting observation right there, the fact that he does have a gun with a holster, so I mean, hey, that could be something that he could use potentially, but I don't see Falcon using no gun, even thinking, even thinking about Falcon pulling out a weapon and shooting somebody, it doesn't really fit for me, but I guess it could work out. Like I said, it would take somebody who really knows what they're doing and really has some good ideas to be able to implement it well. And also, Etika, they are clearly making an F-Zero game now. If not, then what the fuck? Half-Life 4 and a half. <laughs> but I do know that for this, Mario Kart 8, F-Zero stage, Blue Falcon car, Captain Falcon Amiibo on me. I would hope so, man. You're being very optimistic. I don't know. I mean, I want to believe. You know I want to believe more than anybody, but I don't think that I, I, don't, I don't know if they're making their own game for him right now. Um, I would settle for a new F-Zero at this point. Yeah, give us something. If you're not going to give us Captain Falcon in his own game, at least give us some F-Zero action, because I'm, I, I know I'm going to get a lot of hate for this comment, but I prefer F-Zero over Mario Kart any day. I don't even like Mario Kart, so F-Zero, yeah, I'll take that. But hey. A Metroid and F-Zero game where the bounty hunters meet bounty hunter will be all I need. I'm a dedicated Falcon fan and I would love to see him fight Ridley. This dude, Mr. Chunky End Guy. This dude, he... He knows what he's talking about. Take that into consideration. Itachi, Chia, <laughs> what's up man? Um, I've always loved that Captain Hot Dog. Rest in peace Captain Hot Dog, you will be missed. I have no idea what he's talking about. My dude, sucker for Jessica Kashif in here. Think of the woman you love and give it your all. The anime broke the wall with that line. <laughs> That's unspoken in like every other anime. All that was missing was the IMPOSSIBLE! <laughs> He's right. Because they usually never go that far with anime. If it's like the last scene and they're relying on the hero to come through for something, they usually don't say, think of the woman you love. They just say, think of all the people you have to save and blah blah blah. But this one said, think of the woman you love and give it your all. Like, that is awesome. Um, damn feel con. I know I'll get a lot of hate for saying this, but anime is fucking weird, man. And he got a lot of love. I'll give him a thumbs up, too. Anime is weird. Captain Falcon should have been a DLC character for Mario Kart 8 instead of that Animal Crossing girl thing. Hmm. 
technically Krom is in the game, only as a final smash and part of Palutena's guidance conversation as the opponent is Robin. Drop F-Zero on my ass. No, I don't like F-Zero that much. That's why I want a game which is about F-Zero racing, but it has a story mode too, like how Captain Falcon is a bounty hunter, so we can get a story mode where he drives F-Zero cars and hunts down galactic criminals and stuff. So pretty much reverse GTA. That seems like the general consensus of a lot of the comments on this video. They all want a game that addresses his bounty hunting. What's up with that? I would love to see Captain Falcon in that position. I would love to see this dude hunting down aliens. And you know, the crossover idea with Falcon and Metroid? I mean, Falcon, come on. He, he fits in the Metroid, well, he, I mean, maybe he doesn't fit, but he fits somewhat in the Metroid universe. I can see him and Samus pairing together perfectly. Captain Falcon delivering it to Ridley? That sounds like a plan to me. I don't know. I'm liking it. Um, really bad. Really, maybe in some third-person action adventure style with vehicles. I want it really bad. Sorry. Nintendo doesn't know where to take the series as they believe they series cap at GX. Also, the success of Mario Kart means they don't need another racing title. In my honest opinion, they should make an F-Zero beat-em-up developed by Platinum Games. Here's another thing that a lot of people were saying. Platinum Games should be making the next Captain Falcon game if they're well, the new, the first Captain Falcon game if there is one. And Platinum Games, they seem like a perfect candidate for me. They did an amazing job. So, I mean, hey, I could see it working out. Platinum Games know what they're doing in this regard. If Nintendo wants to go with them to develop it, I don't think they'll go wrong. I do not think they'll go wrong. Um, Captain Falcon is an awesome idea, as long as it includes the pink Valentine's Day Falcon. <laughs> I did, it's not Valentine Falcon, dude. It's breast, it's, it, excuse me, what is it? It's not Valentine's Day Falcon, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Falcon. Get it right if you're gonna say it, man. Um, Etika, if you never played Pac World, Pac-Man World 2, go play it. Two words, Platinum Games, they can make it happen. This one got 52, 53 now, thumbs up, so I mean, hey. I'm hoping this video helped out some of you guys who were wondering about where the idea consensus was for the Captain Falcon game. It's kind of fun reading through your comments. I'm just a little tired right now, so sorry if I wasn't exactly as energetic as I usually am. But I'll talk to you in the next video. There were so many comments, man. It was going to be impossible for me to get through all of them. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.